Hello YouTube, it's going to be a short video on my uh, AK-47 uh, variants. Um, the first one here is a uh, AMD-65, it's a uh, Hungarian. Safety check, nothing, nothing in it. Um, personally, I think this rifle is an excellent deal. I paid uh, $400 out the door at a uh, retail store and uh, the fit and finish on this gun are outstanding um, the only thing I don't like is the the grips um, I will be changing those out eventually but they work for now so I haven't really messed with them um, <clears throat> this gun as you can see has a real aggressive uh, muzzle brake it's actually welded to the barrel um, this thing is a flamethrower especially at dusk You'll see uh, all kind of fireballs come out of there when you shoot. Um, great gun. Has a collapsible, collapsible stock, as you can see. Just a great rifle. Love it, love it, love it. And then I have my Wasser 1063 here. Um, I polished a bolt on this rifle. As you might be able to see. Sorry about the crappy camera, but that's all I got to work with. Polish all the internals. Yeah, there's no uh, sticky bolt here. This thing's great. <clears throat> got a uh, Bushnell TRS-25 micro red dot on here. Um, works great. I don't really like the factory sights, so I love the red dot. Um, this thing originally came with wood furniture. Um, I was going to take off the original wood and refinish it. When I was trying to get the buttstock off, um, I undid the screw, tried to pull it off, it wouldn't come off, so I used a screwdriver to kind of pry it a little bit, and it splintered some of the wood. You know, my dumb ass move did that, so... I ran a Cabela's and bought a uh, Tapco stock set. Came with the butt stock and the uh, the four four end grip there. Um, I actually like it better. You know, it has the adjustable stock. You know, works great. Um, let's see what else here. This actually uh, is a Wasser 10 uh, 63. It was actually made in 1967. At least that's when the receiver was made. I know most of these are parts kits, but you know this one uh, haven't had uh, any issues with it really. You know, a couple of failure to ejects out of maybe 2,000 rounds, all using steel Tula and Wolf ammo. You know, so I can't really complain. It's been a great gun. Um, between this and the uh, AMD 65, personally, I think the uh, AMD 65 is a better value. Um, this seems to be better made, um, it's more, more sturdy, and uh, I like the collapsible stock option, which I know you could get on the uh, 1063 also, but I just like the uh, Hungarian over the uh, Romanian. Just my uh, personal opinion. Um, I bought a bunch of these Tapco 30-round uh, magazines. You know, haven't had any issues with these whatsoever. Um... Yeah, just uh, just a great, great fun, you know, inexpensive uh, rifle, you know, to buy and to shoot. You know, 7.62 surplus ammo. You know, you get it for three fifty, four dollars for uh, twenty rounds. You know, when they're on sale, so that's a pretty good deal. So uh, yeah, again, apologize for the crappy camera and audio, but you know, it is what I got to work with. I got three small kids in the other room I'm trying to uh, lock out while I do this review, so yeah, it is what it is, but stay tuned and uh, I have some pistol reviews coming up shortly.